It's 61 degrees downtown. Coco News Time, 542. You know, I think we've all seen it. More and more Americans are handing their smartphones to their kids. Some as young as, get this, six months old. That's according to a new study. Experts warn, however, that the habit could be harmful for a child's development, despite the promise of cell phone learning apps. Joining us on the Coco News Live line is optometrist Dr. Albert Pang. And so what is so bad about handing a kid a smartphone? Oh, two um, very bad ideas to do that. Um, one is regarding the normal development of the visual system of a baby or infant. And secondly, is also permanent damages from the uh, screen of the devices like the high energy visible light. Blue light tend to penetrate through the different media, uh, reach the retina, and especially for baby or young kids, the pupil are much bigger than the adults. So their impact to their photoreceptor is twice or three times more than adults. Well, uh, Dr. Peng, how young is too young to give a child like a tablet or a smartphone? If we were able to hold it off at least until seven or eight years old, because the reason I say that is because before this age, like before the seven or eight years of age, um, young children or infants or toddlers are trying to use their eye to locate the space around them. They need the peripheral vision um, in order to get a concept of space to orient their world surrounding them. So if you give them a um, electronic devices and ask them to focus on the central vision, ignoring the peripheral vision, you kind of read off their uh, ability to uh, locate themselves, to locate objects surrounding them. And are we, see are we seeing problems from this in children? Oh, yes. Um, no, we are not only talking about socially lack of interaction with, uh, with other people uh, because we are also, you know, device-oriented. But there's also increasingly we are seeing more and more learning problems because of the fact that, you know, they are not getting um, exposure to the space to connect with their, with, their, uh, with their mind. So that, like, just simple thing is geometry is the idea of space. So if you do not have a good concept of space because of focusing too much on essential vision, you have math problems. You also have writing difficulties and reading difficulties. Well, a lot of people put their babies and, and toddlers in front of the television. How is it different than putting them in front of a tablet? It's a screen and they're watching something. It's the closeness of the, of the, um, of the device. Um, when you sit in front of the computer, you have at least a 5 to 10 feet distance and your eyes still exposing to the surrounding, to the periphery. Not as well, not as much as, not as good as going outside to play in the, out, in the outdoor. But when you give them a devices like an iPhone or iPad, you're talking about 16 inches away from them. You greatly reduce the peripheral vision. The ability to see the periphery is greatly reduced because all your concentration, your whole field of vision is right in front of you. All right, that's Dr. Albert Pang on why you should wait maybe until your kid is seven, eight years old before you start handing them the phones and the iPads. Don't try to use it as a, well, let's face it, as a babysitter. Which I, is what I was we, just going to say. Which is what we did with TVs, you know, when you and I were younger. Do you remember, you know, mom or... My mom or, sat me down in front of Sesame Street when I was a baby. And even yeah. educationally, you got to get out there yeah. and interact. Yeah.